So I have a prophetic word concerning you, and I know it's for you. When I was reading my Bible, um, I was reading my Bible in the dark. And pay attention to everything that I say, because everything that I say, I'm saying for a reason. As I'm speaking, there's going to be confirmations for you to know if this is for you. I was reading my Bible in the dark, and I was like, oh, my eyes hurt. I can't see. And so I kind of moved my hand over my Bible and, like, shine my hand over my Bible. And I'll insert a clip. my hand is lighting up the pages like yes okay there's sun shining but it's not shining on the bed it's shining here but it's not shining on the bed but when i put my hand here i'm li it's literally lighting up the pages i was like lord what does that mean and as i did that i'm like god it looks like a light is like coming out of my hands like what does that even mean he said, well, I'm telling you that the gift is in, I've, I've given the gift to you. See, you've been waiting for a God to give you the green light. And God says, it's not a green light, but it's a white light. I've given you the light to go. I've given you the light so that when you lay hands on people and when you touch people, your your words will touch people in a way, your, your music, your fashion, whatever you do will touch people in a certain way to where it's like, just by you touching or speaking or singing, they're getting deliverance. I said, okay, but I know it's deeper than that, God. What does this mean? He said, well, you light up my word and bring my word to life. You bring my word to life. Unlike not many people, you are very peculiar. You are very strange. You bring God's word to life. It's, it's almost like you are a walking Bible and not because you quote many scriptures and not because you know just this chapter by heart, but because it is in your heart. And God understands that you truly do love him and that you're serving him. Ha, huh, notice the, the, the spotlight was on God's word. The light sh was shining on God's word. It went from your hands and shined on the word. And the reason why God said, I put the, I put the thing, I put the gift in your hands. I put the big purpose and the big dreams in your hands. Because I know that when you become somebody, you won't forget about me. I know that when I elevate you, you won't forget about me. He says a lot of people who, who ask for the light themselves, they have a light on them and it's shining on them, but it's not because God gave it to them. It's because they put themselves in that spotlight. See, Satan can mimic, but he can't get it quite right. Satan can pretend um to, to to give you a blessing and give you light and, and make you big or whatever and successful but it's not the same because it don't come from their hands so when they run out of light and when satan don't want to give it to them anymore or when the world don't want to give it to them no more or when their friends don't want to give it to them no more false light then they are dark now they're in darkness now they're depressed but when you run out of light even though god's light never runs out but when you get sad and when you get down and when you're stressed god said i put it in your hands Light yourself back up on fire. I didn't just give you a gift so you can heal other people. I gave you a gift so that you can heal you too. He said, understand why I gave it to you. He says, understand why I gave it to you. You're about to do mighty, mighty, mighty things for the Lord's kingdom. Watch and see. I love you, but God loves you more. Educate so that we don't generate more lost generations. Love you.